scared the shit out of me. Oh, so, uh, how'd the date asking out go? She was going for it, and then Chet shows up, ruins everything, like usual. I'm gonna kill him. Well, uh, maybe instead of resorting to homicide, you should stop watching Star Trek DVDs all day and start working out or something. All you gotta do with the bully is show him you're not scared of him, and I'll back off. That'll take forever. He's the only thing standing between me and Leah. I'll show him who's a pussy. Don't go off half-cocked and do something you're gonna regret. Well, don't worry. I'm fully cocked. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna take care of this Chet situation once and for all, and you're gonna help me. I'm gonna summon up a demon to go medieval on his punk ass. No, 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 no. This is ridiculous. Shh, this is the end. And now I entreat you, Lord Satan, grant me powers beyond comprehension so I may summon Malazabar to appear before me and do as I bid. I told you this wouldn't work. Malazabar? You don't look like your picture. She's not gonna scare Chet. Yeah, she's hot. Dude, this is just like weird science. We're gonna get laid. See, Patty's been talking about having kids. And I'm thinking, I can't be a father. I'm not cut out for that. Who the hell am I to be a dad to some kid who's going to need things like food and clothes? So, I've been listening to the news. And I keep hearing all this shit about Johnson and Vietnam and how he keeps sending over troops to fight the Reds. And I figure, I'll enlist. It's a good cause, right? So, I go down to the enlistment office, and as I'm walking in the front door, I see this guy taking a picture of me. So I turn right around, and I'm like, what's the big idea, pal? He says, I've been standing on that street corner all day, waiting to get a picture of somebody walking in there to enlist, and I haven't seen a goddamn soul. He said it wasn't our war, and we had no business being over there, and as a photographer, he wanted to capture a picture of the first chump who thought it was a worthy cause. So, I asked to look at his camera. It was a Leica M3. That's a beautiful piece of machinery. So I asked him about his lenses and how he develops his film. And He says, oh, are you a photographer? I just stood there. I, I wanted to say yes, but it just didn't feel right. Ever since I stopped taking pictures, I felt like something was missing. Like I was empty on the inside. So I said no. And I walked home. I didn't enlist. I didn't do nothing. See, I started taking these pictures because I love the idea of tearing this hideous dump down. Getting rid of this place. And then you came along with your poetry and your opera. And I started thinking... What about all the people who worked so hard to put this place up? Going home to their wife and kids every night. Telling them, Daddy's building something that's going to last forever.
what could I tell the kid that Patty wanted, huh? Daddy destroyed something. So many people worked so hard to build. Daddy's a coward. So I quit. I guess that's it, Professor. Your student flunked. Okay, yeah. Uh, you can just sign right there. Sure thing. Wow. This place is amazing. It's like vampires live here or something, huh? Alright, there you go. It's like a spook house. Thank you. 